Hey boys and girls, the Junk Man coming at you again with a little informational video showing how dangerous or not dangerous the Porter Cable 7424 XP actually is. The reason I'm making this video is because there are some out there who still feel that it is too dangerous to put a Porter Cable on their paint for fear of burning the paint or taking paint off the car or damaging the paint in some kind of way. I'm here to prove that this is possible only if you are abusive with the polisher. And I'm pretty sure none of you are going to do what I mean by abusive. Now, first of all, I want to show you what is abusive. Let me grab something. This little puppy right here is my Makita 9227C rotary polisher. Now, turning this puppy on, you can hear that it'll get up and do some damage. This puppy right here will not only take paint off the car, it'll burn the paint, it'll do everything that you need to do to destroy some paint. You can do it with this puppy. Anything you need to do to destroy paint can be done with this puppy. In the wrong hands, or the hands of a novice, this is not something you want to pick up. I guarantee you, you will be visiting a paint booth. Alright, so let me put this down. Grab my next candidate here. The Flex. That's right, 3401 VRG. I believe that's the uh, model number of this bad boy. Yeah, VRG. This puppy right here. Yeah, you can hear it make some noise too. This puppy, if used incorrectly, will also not only burn the paint, but it'll take paint off edges too. This is a bad boy. This is something that a novice would not even want to think about picking up unless you're trying to visit a paint booth. I guarantee you with this you will be visiting a paint booth. Now let me grab something else. This my friends is the Porter Cable 7424 XP. This is the latest version of the PC uh, 6800 oscillations per minute is what this bad boy spins at as you can see makes a lot of noise too <laughs> and it vibrates like crazy uh, when you're not putting it on some paint or something this puppy right here in order to get paint off the car and do some serious damage you would have to take it to the car okay like so flip it over this way and go back and forth like this Okay, you do that, I guarantee you, you will take some paint off the car with this bad boy. If you use it how it's supposed to be used, like with the pad down on the paint, even if you don't use it like how it's supposed to be, if you use it wrong, you go too fast, you go too slow, you are not going to take paint off the car with this bad boy. Now here's the deal. Seeing is believing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, right now I have on here the Adams yellow pad. You can see it's a yellow pad. It's in real good shape. You know, I've not used it that often. So it's in real good shape. And Adam's most aggressive polish is called Swirl and Haze Remover. Okay, this is the most aggressive polish made by Adam's. It, this is what you use along with the Porter Cable 7424 in order to remove swirl and haze off your paint. It'll take out minor scratches. It actually works wonders. It's an it's a extremely good product. It is what I use. Now, I'm going to go a step beyond that. I'm going to grab a product by McGuire's. You see this? It's their diamond cut compound. Now, I'm going to get in there close. You see that red arrow? That red arrow describes how well this stuff cuts. Okay? This is the most aggressive compound made by McGuire's. The most aggressive. They don't make anything that cuts worse than this stuff. This is their this is their killer product here. Now, I'm going to use this on the most aggressive pad that Adams makes, the yellow pad, along with my PC, and I'm going to turn this PC all the way up as far as it goes. For those of you who know about the Porter Cable, you know that six 
is the highest setting. I've got it set on six. Now I'm not going to pause the tape or anything, so you're going to see this live. I'm going to put a little product on the pad. Actually, I'm going to put a lot of product on the pad. Well, I'm going to put plenty of product on the pad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put enough product to where I'm wasting product on the pad. Okay? There. That's what I put on the pad. Okay? Now, like I said, I'm going to do this in real time. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick a spot on my gorgeous Corvette. Affectionately called Blue Angel. And I'm going to zoom you in. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do this real time. I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see how much pressure I'm putting in this spot. I'm going to work in that spot right there. Now, you can see the pads on there. Okay, let me see if I can see you all. Hey, there you are. <laughs> okay, now, cord over my shoulder. Now, you see where the pad is. Now, right now I'm not applying pressure. You see that? Now I'm applying pressure. Now watch what I do. And you can even try this at home, kids, because it is that safe. Now let me uh, show you the, the polish here one more time. Make sure you can see that I still have it turned all the way up to six. I don't know if that's in focus or not. Move it back so It's on six. Got it up as far as it'll go. Matter of fact, see I can't move the button there. So make sure you see that. Okay, I'm in my spot. I'm going to apply pressure. Here I go. There it is. I'm crushing this hood right now. Watch this. <laughs> Zoom you out here. Uh, oh, that was in. <laughs> okay, now here's the pad. Notice that it is not blue. You saw me just crush it, and I turned it on there. You want me to do it again? Maybe you weren't satisfied with that. Let me let me add, let me do a couple more. Let me do a couple more. <laughs> You probably saw the black mark going around. You notice how slow it was going? You notice how slow it was going? Now, I'm going to cut it on now, let you see that it was still turned all the way up. See how fast it's going? That's all the way up compared to all the way down. Okay? So it's two different speeds there. You saw me with it on the paint as hard as I could go. Now, you saw that it ain't blue. It ain't blue in color. It's yellow, still yellow. There's no paint on the pad. Now, I'm going to bring you in with the camera in real time and let you see what damage was done to the paint. Okay. I was going to take you off the tripod, but <laughs> my cord ain't long enough. 